So when love and rage dissolved, split, broke up in the '98, uh, I still I still believe firmly in the need for some kind of organization that would be somewhat somewhere between the vanguard and the Marxist vanguard party, which I regarded as a historical relic and not a relevant way to organize. Somewhere between that and the, the loose network of uh, that anarchists tend to favor at that time, and I think still do. And by a network, I mean a loose group of people, affinity groups, organizations that come together in conferences and protests and things like that and, and can maybe carry out some collective actions but then immediately um, disperse after, after that action or that event. And I thought we, we need something between a network and a vanguard party. We need a what? We need a cadre organization. We need an organization of people who have similar politics, who don't believe they're going to lead the revolution. That's a vanguard party. I do not believe in vanguards. I do not believe. I believe that revolutionaries are always behind the working class, and that the working class is far more radical than I will ever be when the when the working class decides to move. And so, therefore, the job of, of the job of a revolutionary organization is to is to organize the revolutionaries, not to lead the masses. In other words, for us to, to read, to study, uh, to learn to, 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 to learn strategy, to debate with each other, what is the best way forward? How do, we, how do we create a free society given this unfree world we live in? And I think we need, organ we need organizations of people to do that. And, and so myself and some other folks decided to try to see if we could pull something like that together. And we had a little, we had a little collective of folks in Phoenix, and we wrote a statement uh, called Bring the Ruckus, and out of that, that statement we helped um, pull together people from Portland and Atlanta and Los Angeles and other regions, and we created an organization called Bring the Ruckus. Bring the Ruckus formed officially in 2002, it still can, uh, exists today. It is not a, uh, explicitly an anarchist organization. It has people who identify as Leninists, it has people who identify as anarchists, it has lots of people who don't really give a damn uh, about what you call them, except to know that they're they're revolutionaries, they're communists with a small c, and they believe that the working class can and should uh, uh, lead the struggle to build a free, free world. We also believe that in the United States, and we're an explicitly American organization, a North a U.S. organization, we believe that white supremacy has been so central to the structuring of capitalism in the United States, and basically what white supremacy has done is, is it's taken one chunk of the working class and bought it off by giving them various racial privileges and defining that group as white. And that set of privileges has led that group of the working class to ally itself with the ruling class against the rest of the working class. And that fundamental division that white supremacy has created is the fundamental obstacle to revolution in the United States. So we regard our one of our key objectives is to destroy this devil's bargain between one section of the working class and the ruling class, and to get white workers to think more like workers than whites. And so, uh, one of the our fundamental principles of ruckus is to is to, uh, is to seek to destroy the color line wherever we find it. And and also, frankly, because we believe in a ruthless criticism of everything existing, as Marx says, we believe in the need to constantly ask ourselves: Is our strategy right? Is our basic politics right? And we, every year, we begin our national meetings by saying. Are we completely wrong? And we build our theory and our practice back up together uh, that way pretty much annually. And I think that keeps us from turning too dogmatic and, uh, and hopefully makes us well.